Hi everyone, welcome to 2C4D Games. 2C4D means we are too chill for debating games. We're just here to have fun. I'm T. Lindsay B. And today I have some really cool, unique armors I want to show off to you guys for Skyrim on Xbox. And these are some recent ports for the most part. So you may have seen them, you may have come across them, but if you want to get a better look, watch this video. So we're gonna have a top 10 list of some really awesome armor sets, as well as weapons. So um, yeah, I'll let you know what my two favorite are, if you let me know in the comment section, because this is in no particular order. It's in no ranking order. I just thought they were so freaking cool that, I don't know, I needed to do a video. So let's take a look at them. And as I go through the list and show them off, I'll also share some of the lore about the unique armors with you. Perseus Armor adds a unisex heavy gothic armor set. The armor is craftable at the forge and can be tempered. Here we have Leonard's outfit. Outfit of Ring Finger Leonard. Leonard was born into royalty, which is believed to be the reason for his skill in both sorcery and swordsmanship. In his youth, Leonard suffered grave burns to his entire body. His face in particular, which he hid beneath this mask, was terribly scalded. He abstained from restoring these injuries even after becoming a finger of Rosaria. The dingy garb is in fact embroidered with gold thread, betraying its purpose as military wear inspired for a noble. This adds a light armor set. The armor can be crafted at the tanning rack and can be tempered at the workbench with the steel smithing perk. This is the Wolf Knight set. Armor of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss. The toy light blue tassel is damp and will ever remain so. A vanquished knight left behind only wolf's blood and legacy of duty. The undead legion of Farron was formed to bear his torch and the armor of these abyss watchers suggests their own eventual end. This set includes a helm, armor, gauntlets, leggings, and Wolf Knight's Greatsword, and can be crafted and tempered under the ebony section. Derictus Armor. The armor can be obtained via crafting at any forge in the ebony section and also tempered. It includes a great bow.
Dracul armor. This adds a set of high resolution armor to the game, male only. Includes gloves, boots, helmet, cuirass, and cape. An option without cape. This is the Dragon Slayer's Armor. Golden armor associated with Dragon Slayer or Stein from the Age of Gods and imbued with the strength of lightning. In the Dragonless Age, this knight, who long guarded the ruined cathedral, left the land in search of the Nameless King. This adds a heavy armor set and spear to the game. The armor and spear can be crafted with the ebony smithing perk and can also be tempered at their respective smithing stations. The spear uses battle axe animations but benefits from great sword perks. Knight of Thorns Armor and Spear adds a new set of high resolution heavy armor and a new weapon to the game for both male and female. Lunar Guard Armor, Lore Friendly Khajiit Armor. Medusa Armor adds a set of high resolution heavy armor to the game, female only. 
includes gloves, boots, helmet, and cuirass. Here we have the Ancient Argonian Armor in 4K. It's a new heavy armor. The bizarre culture of the Saxheel is of great interest to scientists and researchers, but the closeness of Argonian communities from foreigners together with the dangers of Black Marsh weakly contribute to its discovery to the masses. This modification will add to your game a set of ancient Argonian armor from the time of the construction of the oldest Xanmirs. In the area of the Pilgrim's Trench, a strange glow began to break through from the bottom.